Hi everyone and welcome to this video demonstration on goat's milk ice cream. I'm Jenna Edwards, your cooking companion, and if you like videos like this, join my newsletter list at jennagedwards.com. This recipe contains egg yolks and no heavy cream. It's ideal for the lactose sensitive, but not for vegetarians. I'm trying to make this as creamy as possible with a KitchenAid mixer ice cream bowl attachment. I want it thick and creamy, but there are challenges with using goat's milk. For this recipe, I start with separating two yolks from their whites, and then I heat the milk and sugar on the stovetop until the sugar dissolves. Now I'll whisk together the egg yolks and slowly whisk in the hot milk a little bit at a time. If I add the yolks directly to the hot liquid, I could cook the yolks. So we're gonna do it this way to slowly integrate the yolks into the hot liquid. Now I also wanna integrate powdered goat's milk. It won't mix together fully, but it's enough to keep large clumps from floating around the saucepan. The powdered milk ups the fat content in lieu of heavy cream so we can get that genuine ice cream texture. I'll add all this into the saucepan and whisk it all together. The heat is on medium low. It's just enough to scald the milk mixture, which is when you see the liquid moving around, but not bubbling or boiling. Now I'll add the vanilla and let this sit over the heat for eight to 10 minutes. I'm trying to thicken this as much as possible and I'll keep checking by seeing how the liquid sticks to the back of a spoon. I'd say it's about ready, so I'm gonna let it cool and then let it sit in the fridge overnight to really cool. You can wait just a few hours, just as long as it's fully cool. Then add it to your ice cream mixer. I'm using an attachment to my KitchenAid mixer where it will turn on low for 30-ish minutes. And if you wanna add fruit or other mix-ins, I'm doing strawberries here, add those in the last 10 minutes. When it's finished mixing, I'll move my ice cream into containers to harden even more until it's time to serve. All right, guys, remember to register for my email newsletter for more videos like this and eventually some free stuff. Thanks for uh, watching this video demonstration of homemade goat's milk ice cream. I'm Jenna Edwards, your cooking companion.